This is a chronicle of a voyage across the Mediterranean. Of new cultures, new faces and once-in-a-lifetime experiences. Four cities, one continent, one ship. Join me, Natasha Thomas, as I explore the mystic Mediterranean. On this program, I take you on board the brilliance of the seas and we explore some of the most beautiful cities in the world. On the ship, you will experience a completely different world where over 3,000 people work, live and vacation together. A mini floating city in the midst of the seas. I find out if it's as grand as it sounds. My journey takes me from the world's most beautiful city to a gem in the mountains, Dubrovnik in Croatia. On the next day, I will wake up in Corfu in Greece and after two days of sailing, I will reach my final port of call, Barcelona in Spain. I arrived in Venice to be greeted by the only city in the world where taxis are actually boats. Join the cruise during its two-day halt at Venice. By this time, the people on board have already been sailing for five days. Here's my nice big room. The bed is a lot different from the Titanic-style bunk beds I was expecting. It's got a nice little TV set. There's a little locker in here so you can keep all your valuables etc. What else do we have? We have a nice little water kettle so if you want to have tea in the middle of the night well we have the facilities. The restroom is quite big compared to what I was expecting. Uh, it's nice, it's got this nice Mediterranean theme going on. It's time now to freshen up and head out to explore the sights and sounds of Venice. As the sun sets on the city, other cruise ships dock the waterway. And then the piazza comes alive with beautifully lit up buildings and serenading musicians outside every restaurant. After a stroll through the night in Venice, it's time to head back to the ship. The next day we make our way to the city again. This time, the ship is docked away from the town centre. Passengers can board shuttle services provided by the ship to the city. A half-hour boat ride takes us from the port back to the main city. A 30-minute gondola ride around the backwaters of Venice costs 80 euros. A little negotiation could get you a better deal. It's also a good idea to share the ride with other tourists if you want to save money. Composed of 117 islands on the Venetian Lagoon and held together by a series of canals, Venice is like no other city in the world and perhaps why it's appropriate for me to start my journey here on this gondola ride. The ride on the gondola is a breath of fresh air. You can savour all the sights and sounds of the city tucked away in your little sanctuary. When you're on a cruise you have very little time to explore each city so don't try to pack every museum, every palace while you're on shore. 
I'm off to do a little bit of my own exploring of Venice. On day two, I chose to walk around the back alleys of the city. With only four hours at my disposal, I found it a better alternative to elbowing my way past tourists at the town square, which seems a lot more crowded than the night before. From colourful masks to Italian pizza and pastas to the city's trademark masks and collectibles on every corner, Venice is worth exploring by foot just as it is by boat. Venice is a city I have often read about or seen in movies and photographs. Before arriving, I thought there was no chance that it would meet all my expectations. But I was wrong. It did. Over and over again. Every corner and every building holds a surprise. It's truly the most breathtakingly beautiful and romantic city I've ever been to. As we leave Venice, all the passengers come out to say goodbye. The city looks almost as beautiful from the roof of the ship as it does when you look at it from close quarters. On that night, the cruise has very appropriately organized a Venetian masquerade. After a sumptuous dinner at the formal restaurant, it's time to do some final touches, check my Venetian mask and head to the dance floor. Thank you.